are these people? Consortium News was hacked. <laughs> yes. Consortium News right now, if you go to Consortium News, I don't believe they, that they're they're up right now. You're getting like a blank web page that's like a generic WordPress page when you first start a WordPress site. All right. Uh, so I wrote this up today after seeing this last night, and I'm very, I can't understand why every single independent creator isn't screaming from the rooftops about this. Yes, I get that websites get hacked occasionally, and, and that happens to, to creators, but this is the oldest website on, you know, the oldest news website basically on the internet. Started in 1995. All right. They announced last night that something happened and every originally it was every article after June of last year got wiped out. But then mm -hmm. after midnight, they actually said that seven recent data breaches and now it appears their site has been totally replaced. They've been hacked. I reached out. I tried to get them some help. They posted an update earlier. Number one, Russian hacker. Right, about that it was a sophisticated attack on multiple levels. They also stole and hijacked the URL. They fixed that. And a few others. They have daily backups. They're working on getting the site back up. Hopefully it will be back up soon. Uh, shout out to them and all the support. This is what the website actually looked like when you went there. There's no logo. It wasn't anything. All right. And yeah, they got hacked. So there's much speculation on who would who would want to do that. We don't know. And I don't want to even start doing that. I want them to get the site back and then we'll figure out who did what. I'm sure they'll get some kind of forensic investigator to look at that. Follow them on Twitter yep. or on, on Elon's shitty platform, but that's where they post updates. So um, follow them there and I'll try to keep updated on my site as well. Um, but that's consortium. I also wanted to do a follow up about Conyers, Scott C. Smith, the water warrior from Purdue University. Um, he went and did a, both sam soil samples from East Palestine and, as well as from Conyers, Georgia. Go check out his reports that he published. They're not, not good, not good at all, not good one bit. All right. But these are the levels of pH he found and different um, chemicals that he found in the water sample within 1,500 feet of ground zero at the Biolab fire in Conyers. So go follow at Scott uh, at Water Warrior One. That's Scott C. Smith. All right on Twitter, and there was a report I think that was published this morning with more detail about this. One of the other things that we've been talking about the last couple of weeks has been the Boeing strike of the machinists striking against the company for a better deal, mm. for restoration of the pension that they gave up in 2014, for increase in, um, was it wages? To, was it 42 an hour or something? They want more hourly wages, $40 yeah. an hour. They're, they're being offered 35 And last Sunday, I went kind of off about how the union heads made a cut rate crappy deal. And guess what? The machinists voted against it and went and voted to go back out on strike. So labor union news, but not only labor union news, but indie media award honoree 2024, Luigi Morris from left voice wrote a great article this week about the Boeing strike continuing and that two thirds of the honorees are uh, I'm sorry, two thirds of the union rejected the contract and voted to stay on strike. So God bless them. And thank you, Luigi. And thank you to the Boeing workers for seeing the bullshit and rejecting that offer that was cut rate. All the workers stand with you and are watching. Um, I also want to give a shout out to our friend in the, in the chat, the golden monarch who I shout out almost every week at this point, but he started a publication this year, in the last couple of months, goldenmonarchnews.substack.com. He has been writing about the, the Ponzi scheme that bit, that is Bitcoin and crypto and exposing the players that are involved and exposing the schemes and going back and, fit and learning about 
who actually is Satoshi Nakamoto and trying to do a deep dive on that. They then did a documentary recently on Netflix. I asked him recently, you know, could we put together, could you put together like some kind of a list of who all the, the real crappy players are, the worst of the worst, the biggest scammers of the year with regard to Bitcoin and crypto? And so he made a list of top five worst of list. Okay. And and I'll show you who they are right there. I'll give the, I'll give it away. By the way, Substack added a table of contents. If you ever want to see all the different um, title tags, you'll be able to see that right there. But he's got the top five being Kamala Harris, Natalie Brunel, Max Kaiser, the Bitcoin maximalist, crazy lunatic person, Donald Trump and Michael Saylor. And then he's got some dishonorable mentions and reasons why I highly encourage everyone go to goldenmonarchnews.substack.com and check that out. I showed Shanda's yep. GoFundMe earlier, so by all means, please go and support Shanda at her GoFundMe. That will be in, I think that is in the description. I'll make sure that is in the description afterwards <laughs> if it is not already. Uh, again, she will be back tomorrow for Trailer Park Pundit. So 1 p.m. Eastern every Monday. Check her out there. Again, you never know that she's going through what she's going through because she's just a champ and a pro, and she's incredible, but she needs our help, and, and I'm there to help and share and support and do whatever we can. Two more things, just I in a newsletter. Every day, except for yesterday because we didn't have any new content to put out, but every day, basically... We put out a coming to a Substack newsletter near you. That's where it is published. Yes, at Substack, we put out a daily newsletter of all the articles, uh, clips, and live streams for that specific day. Um, and we also put out a weekly update, all for zero dollars. I do this for free, just because I'm a crazy person and I love doing it, and I want everyone to learn about all the incredible content we make every week because there's so much of it. All right. But in addition to INN Newsletter, there is Indie Media Today. And that's where I publish the clips from How Do We Miss That? That's where I write articles like the one that I that I covered tonight about Consortium News being hacked. That is where mm. uh, I share also the weekly update on Saturday. So if you didn't get it on Friday through INN Newsletter, I share it to a much larger group of subscribers on Saturday through my newsletter. Um. How do we miss that live stream alerts every Sunday? You're going to get those as well, as well as when I when I do a guest appearance on a show like when I was on Hard Lens on Friday. Shout out to Kit Cabello, who may still be in the chat for supporting independent media, yeah. having me on, talking about the Indie Media Awards, Indie Media Award Honoree 2022 for top live streamer Kit Cabello Hard Lens Media. Cheers um, and salutations. Smoke right them if you got them. That guy, I was on AM Wake Up a couple weeks ago talking about the Rockfin stuff. I wrote articles about Rockfin. All those articles are here under original articles. And you can just go to see all and boom. Look at that. It's every article I've ever written on this site. And I've written quite a few in 2024 alone. All right. And even going back, I, I wrote in these, in these tech tips. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't go all the way back because this is looking at a tag. And Substack only put tags mm -hmm. in place in 2023 so all the stuff i did in 21 and 22 isn't there but that's the newsletter subscribe support and again indie media awards.substack.com that is the home page for all of the creators top journalists top live streamers and podcasters top outlets top video creators I got to add one for activists and special honorees. You'll find all the three years there and each individual. And that, that will cover the whole spectrum. Man. And uh, oh. black and gold aesthetic. Sorry. It's just classy. It's very classy. Um, you know, thank you, Anna, Anna Mayers. Nice, cash app. We, we got another cash app coming through. Woohoo. Thank you. Aww. Appreciate that. Um, one last time. Thank you all. Support independent media because we need it more than ever. And I, I really do believe that and live it. I was out there beating the drum today for Consortium News big time and trying to get more people sharing and learning that their site was down and getting the, getting the word out and let people know and to, and to support them. 
and they also rely on user funding. They're a 501c3. Your donation to them is tax deductible. If you are in a bracket that you can do that, you can do that. Um, and, and again, everybody needs your support. Let's one more time, make a plea. You saw all this incredible artwork. You paid for that. Thank Money, you. Please. Right. Cash app. Kofi, two best ways to do it. PayPal, Patreon, if you're able to subscribe monthly. Also at innnewsletter.com. INN Newsletter is great because uh, you're going to get a daily update of everything that's going on at the network. That's live streams, articles, clips also that are put out from those live streams every day, just about. 